To view IPI or invisible personal information, click on the IPI icon. As instructed, click and draw around the area with the IPI. You can then adjust the settings as necessary to find the IPI within the passport photograph. If you're viewing this document again in the future, you can add this as a preset. Within the preset options at the top here, we can click Save As, and we can give this a name, and click Save. At this point onwards, if this document is examined in the future, we can select on this preset without having to manually set up the settings as before. Yeah, quit that for a moment. If you're finding it difficult to find the exact IPI settings, the oscillate icon can be useful. This will oscillate or try a variety of different settings to hopefully find the best setting for you. If you wish to save this image to the gallery, click on the plus, and as before, this will be added to the gallery. If you wish to save these images, click save, and this will save the image to the selected location as long, along with the IPI settings. Save PDF will, as suggested, save a PDF with the image and settings file included. If you have a digital IPI sample, once again, draw around the selected area and click Digital IPI. This will take a little bit of time to process. Once completed, click OK, and the IPI results will be displayed here. Once again, you can click Save to save these results as before.